Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Barbera, autism mom, board certified behavior analyst, and best-selling author. I became a BCBA in 2003 as my two sons were entering early elementary school. Until then, I was pretty much just winging it as a parent. As you probably know, if you've been listening to my video blogs for a few months, my oldest son, Lucas, has moderate to severe autism. So I started learning about ABA when he was diagnosed in 1999. So I was using some ABA principles starting back then when my kids were toddlers, preschoolers, but I realized back then that I never learned how to be a great parent and that very few people ever learn this. Even behavior analysts who know how to teach kids with autism often don't know how to deal with the type of tantrums that are typical and sleep issues and picky eating and a host of other parenting dilemmas. Lucas, for example, didn't sleep in his own bed consistently through the night until he was 10 years old. And this was three or four years after I became a BCBA. And both my kids were very picky eaters, especially early on. So I know firsthand how difficult it is to apply proven behavioral strategies to be a great parent to kids with and without autism. In the next few video blogs, I'm going to tell you about a few books that I've read since Lucas's diagnosis that have helped me become a better BCBA, a better parent, and a better person overall. This week, I'm going to tell you about a book by Dr. Glenn Latham called Positive Parenting. I saw Dr. Latham present for one hour in the year 2000 and his lecture completely changed my perspective on parenting. It was originally, the book was originally written in 1990 and is filled with practical advice for parents for use with toddlers through teens. Dr. Latham was not a behavior analyst, but he did have a PhD in special education and spoke at, a co at this conference in New York that I attended because one of his grandchildren had autism and his book was found to be helpful for both parents of children with and without special needs. In his book, Dr. Latham talks a lot about the need for positive reinforcement when raising toddlers through teens and explains ABA principles in an easy to understand way. He also stresses the need to avoid coercion, which is punishment or the threat of punishment. Because if you force kids to do things because you say they should and you're bigger than they are, this won't work as they get older and bigger. I've literally purchased this book for baby shower gifts. And even though positive parenting is was written a few decades ago, it's still the number one parenting book that I recommend. Next week, I'll discuss another book by Dr. Latham that can help teachers, and next week's book can be downloaded for free. So stay tuned. If you're watching this video anywhere other than marybarbera.com, I would encourage you to hop on over there, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next week.